What's good? What's happening? It's your boy, the one and only Wanda. We back again with another video. And today, from the thumbnail, you can see we're talking about how Young Dolph was taken away from us and his good music. You know, I mean, yeah, my watch dumb by my chain a little dumber. I've been doing numbers. Hey, now come on. Now we all loved Young Dolph's music. He was a very cool, calm, smooth type of a rapper. You just enjoy his energy and his influence. He was just vibey. Like he was like a street dude, like an authentic type of a rapper. You just enjoy that Memphis sound that he brought to the scene, which was very distinctive. If I'm being honest, I have never heard such a sound before coming from Memphis. He was the first to bring out that type of a sound. And then with his uh, cousin by law, uh key glock still running uh pepper Rot, the label all right uh so let's just get down and talk about our boy young Dolph. so young Dolph was born in july 1985 and he was sadly taken away from us on i'm not sure the date but it was in november 2021 such a sad time and like it was so messed up for us to just lose him like that and looking at the backstory of how he may have been killed is such a very sad and very dumb at the same time right young Dolph is no new to the street life and like i said he was an authentic street dude so in 2016 february he dropped an album called king of memphis i mean obviously if i'm from memphis and i hear somebody claiming to be the king of memphis and i'm running the streets or i feel like i'm the top dog i'm definitely going to feel some type of way and you know who i'm talking about i'm talking about yogari and black youngster um we all love yogari too he's he has given us a couple of hits you know it go down in the deal, me go down, it go down in the deal, me go down, it go, it go down in the deal. He gave us some mainstream hits, all right? But let us talk about the few that Pepper Out Empire, Young Dolph, and Yogari, uh, how they came into having a beef. So in 2017, Young Dolph dropped a track called play with your bitch now this is a bit weird because from some of the researches and the video that i listened to when young Dolph was talking about yogari young Dolph said that he met up with yogari and then he tried to sign yogari my bad yogari met up with young Dolph and he tried to sign young Dolph because he was like the hottest up and coming but then Young Dolph has always been a boss. He came from nothing and he built everything one man. And he built him as a brand. So I don't think he was fitting for him to be under your body. Because if you look at most artists that are signed under an artist, they never really blow up to be bigger than the main artist that they signed to. So Young Dolph didn't want something like that. So he said that, he was cool with being affiliated with them and making music with them, but he didn't want to be a downliner of Yogari because he was always going to be overshadowed by Yogari's fame and um, him as an artist. So what Young Dove decided to do was to respectfully reject to being signed under Yogari. Um, yeah, it's CMG. Yeah, he refused to be signed under CMG. So they had like a little back and forth where Yogari trying to try to son Young Dolph, making him like his little brother. And as a boss, you know that you don't like anybody making you feel like you're smaller than who you are. If you already have motion in the streets and your songs are charting already, you don't need to be signed under another artist to be a downliner. It's not very favorable. Excuse me. Because you're always going to be overlooked. Right, so Young Dove decided that, look, I respect that, but I'm not going to do it. So your body felt some type of a way. And then long story short, Young Dove slept with your goddess baby mother. And then he went, he dropped the song, Play With Your Bitch. And he used 
the conversation between himself and your goddess baby mother. I mean, as a student dude or even as a man, for a man to go ahead and drop play with your bitch this song with receipts that he really slept with my baby mother. I'm definitely going to feel some type of way, but your I mean your god is a street dude too, like he's heavily tied street ties in Memphis, you know he's the boss. And young Dove too has deep street ties in Memphis and he felt like I'm untouchable. So this is where they really started going back and forth and making their beef very public. Right? So after he dropped Play with your bitch. Black youngster for some type of way, and then they came. Him and some couple of goons came, and they rode around looking for Young Dove, and then they couldn't find him. And then they dropped a song. Black youngster dropped a song called "Shake Some." It was hot. It was hot. It came through. It was hot. It, it definitely shook some, right? Um, but I don't think. Young Dove really took much uh, energy from that. And then later on, when he was performing in Memphis, Black Youngster and a couple of guys came through and then they shot at his van whilst he was inside a hundred times, but no shots hit. So Young Dove looked at it and said, you know what, I'm going to capitalize from this and use this for album sales and for marketing so he dropped an album called bulletproof and then it was it was a great album he was talking about the hundred shots and all of that right so definitely they felt some type of way from the cmg camp black youngster they looked at it as he's capitalizing from the beef and he's making us look bad because we shot a hundred times but we never caught him i mean you can go with Uzis and Dracos and whatever and shoot a hundred rounds and still not get your target. But unfortunately, Black Youngster and a couple of men got arrested, but the charges were acquitted because they did not have enough evidence. I don't know why this always happens in the streets. There's always no evidence. No one talks and no one says shit, right? So they just let that go. Um, Young Dove continued with his life and he kept on uh taunting the cmg boss your Gari, and obviously as a boss you're not gonna allow that so from what i've seen and i've researched your Gari went and looked for him and i think this all started from young dove sleeping with your Gari's baby mother even though young dove claimed that he did not know at the time that it was his baby mother but I, th I think he knew i think he knew look i love your body i love my bad i love young dove but i think he knew and then he was doing everything just to spite to say you know what i'm also called to spite your body obviously your body felt some type of a way and i mean the boys were looking out for him and he had people in the streets waiting for that perfect moment when young dove comes to memphis and he was lurking. So Young Dove in September, uh, sorry, in November 2021, he was in Memphis and he went to one of his favorite local bakeries buying cookies. And then somebody got the loot and they went and they shot the guy. And the evidence was, was like all over the social media with guys in Balaclava runs into the store Boom, 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 boom. They shot at him and he was dead on the scene. Like they literally left him bloody. So this is what the streets also said. Big Juke, which is your goddess bigger brother, actually had money, a bounty on his head. All right, because of the back and forth. Obviously, my, my younger brother is being taunted by this guy talking about disrespecting the family, sleeping with his baby mother. I mean... Everything literally points at Yogari because their beef was just way too personal. And I don't think Yogari could have just let it go or there was ever any moment where they could have squashed it. I don't think this is the same situation with Young Jeezy and Gucci Mane. I don't think this could ever be squashed over a versus. 
it was just too much and these are like authentic street dudes you understand me like they're big bosses so yeah i just think some of this intel really makes sense and the and the evidence we have in the public i mean it makes a lot of sense um so anyhow i want you guys to tell me what you guys think and who do you think killed young Dolph? with the evidence that has been given like i mean it's public information so do you really think that Yogari had any motive to kill or to order the hit on Young Dolph or Big Juke had to take the hit for Yogari, his younger brother, to say, look, we're family and we're tired and I'll always have your back. So please let me know in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. Let us keep the ball rolling. Let us keep the vibe alive, man. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.